Hello beautiful people, it's Davina from the London Curls and the day has finally come. I've reached the end of my temporary hair colour journey. This is the last colour that I decided to use from Bleach London, which is the Washed Up Mermaid shade. A lovely turquoise shade as you can see. So continue watching if you want to see the tutorial on how I got my hair this colour and also hear my review at the end. Now to start off with, my hair was just a bit of a mess. The colour was kind of bluey, purpley, and I've just been basically washing my hair constantly throughout the week, using this hydrating detangling shampoo, applying it to my hair and just leaving it on. It's sulfate free, so it doesn't strip the hair, but it did leave my hair slightly cleaner each and every time in an attempt to get rid of some of the colour. So I applied it to my hair, I scrubbed it as you can see, smoothed it down and left it on for about half an hour. And as I did that, I then mixed up my conditioner and hair dye concoction. As you're aware, the 10 in 1 conditioner is my favourite from Sheer Moisture to mix it with. This was my hair after shampooing it and I've dried it with a t-shirt because I don't like using towels, normal towels, because it can really dry up your hair. So a t-shirt is always better. And then after drying it, I started to apply the colour. So as you can see, I went around the edge as I always do just to make sure that that is all completely covered after that awful experience I had where I left some of it out. And yeah, after doing that, I just applied it to the rest of my hair on top as you can see, kept on applying it, kept on rubbing it into my scalp, rubbing it around on top of the hair as well. And then I just used my Tangle Teaser to just comb it all through to make sure that every single strand of hair was completely covered. After doing this, I left it on for longer than usual. I left it on for over an hour and these are my final results. Right, hello beautiful people. This is the true colour. As you can see, it's very much turquoise. So let me give you my customary 360 or 180 view. I love it. I know I say that. I say the exact same thing every single week. I say that I absolutely love it. But this colour, if you look at the bottle, so most of the other times that I've um, recorded this and I've shown you the different um, colours that I've been dyeing my hair with, I end up using the whole bottle, so I have to do two applications. This is just with one application, and I find that the colour is really, really vibrant. It might be because of this. It might just be the actual colour itself is particularly vibrant or it's the fact that I left it on a bit longer than I normally do, so I just went about my business. I think I had it on for about an hour or so, but I am really, really like the colour. I think it's really like an interesting shade. Like I can remember when I asked people what colour they thought I should go for, I remember a few people said teal, and I think this is actually quite close to teal. Um, I think perhaps it could also be due to the fact that I washed and I kept on washing my hair again and again and again in the over the last week to try and get rid of the blue because I knew that the blue would probably latch onto my hair quite a lot which it did it really did um, and it started to fade out slightly greeny so I just thought let's just get it out before putting this hair colour on so I kept on washing it so maybe it being on a slightly cleaner base also makes the colour more vibrant but either way I love this shade so yeah as always I did the same thing I mixed this condition and um, this with um, my favourite conditioner, so the 10 in 1 conditioner from Sheer Moisture. And as always, it felt moisturising, it felt really good. My hair is slightly wet at the moment, so it's probably a bit darker than it would normally be. But as you can see, it's really, really a vibrant shade. And overall, I'm loving it. So, of course, as I said last week, I have still got my um, giveaway coming up. But if you would like to get your hands on this gorgeous pink ombre hair from Cat Face, well, Cat Face Me, um, by the amazing Mariette, then you need to enter this competition. On Instagram. Could I also ask, if you do enter, can you also at me and um, shop catface in the post or at least tag us because for whatever reason Instagram's being really weird so I don't get all of the notifications and even when I search for the hashtag some of the pictures aren't coming up so it's really irritating just to make sure that I can definitely enter you into the competition please at me or tag me in your post as well so yeah so obviously this is the last colour that I want to dye my hair the other colour in the set so the Aquamonia set which was three shades the blue that you saw last week, blue leaning, this turquoise shade, and then we had a green colour that I was just like, 
No, uh -oh. no, that's not for me. No. It's the last colour I'm willing to try, so obviously the next step is to go to something a bit more natural. I think I've had all of the fun with the coloured hair for now, so I want to kind of go back to a more natural shade. So what I want to know from you is what colour you think I should go. I think I'm going to go to a salon to get it done just so I can feel a bit pampered again. But um, I was thinking kind of along the lines of, obviously once I've got some of this blue gone, because it will wash out eventually, or I could just have it like stripped out when I go to the hair salon. Um, what I was thinking of doing was keeping the fact that this is lighter on top and using like a brownie shade, maybe even a reddy shade. Like there's lots of different colors that I'm thinking of where the roots, because as you can see, my roots are now fully about that life where my roots kind of will blend into a lighter shade so maybe like blend up into a reddy colour or actually I think maybe not reddy because I already had that with henna but I'm thinking like golden brown or chocolate brown what I want to know from you is what colour you think I should dye my hair so this is going to be a permanent hair colour all of these have been semi-permanent and they wash out eventually I'm thinking of a permanent hair colour that I could just have on top while I grow my hair you might not be able to see because it is so curly but it has grown so much now I can officially shake my hair and see the curls move see so it has grown a lot on top and I'm thinking of doing like a tapered cut so like I don't know how to describe it, but just up more more hair, more volume on top, probably doing some twist outs maybe. But I want to know what colour to keep it on top. So I need that from you. Also, of course, let me know what you think of the hair as it is now. If you have Snapchat, please add me on Snapchat at the London Curls because I will be asking throughout the week for your suggestions or questions for my Q&A video, which will hopefully be up next weekend. So yeah, add me on Snapchat and we will have a chat. Okay, it was lovely speaking to you, lovely seeing you and whatnot. I will talk to you soon. Bye!